Hello and welcome to the On-Call Toolkit of Health Literacy Resources. The topic of this video is the relationship between food and emotions. We will talk here about how our emotional state influences our diet. The relationship between emotions and eating behaviours has always been an interesting topic for researchers of human behaviour. The main fields of their interests are the correlation between emotions and food intake and how our diet influences our physical and psychological states. Our cravings can say a lot about our psychological state. They may point out our anxiety, depression or even lethargy. Some people use food and beverages as antidepressants, reward or motivators. The best examples here would be coffee, chocolate and fast food. Almost everyone has heard about stress eating. We tend to eat a lot more while we are stressed. It is an easy scientific explanation. Even animals eat only when they feel safe. Ergo, while we eat, we feel safe. So, if you suddenly feel like it, before wolfing down really large amounts of different kinds of food, try to release some stress in another way. The same rule works while we feel anxious. Eating will give us a comfort we need and an excuse to have a break and relax a little. Stress eating and anxiety eating are harmless, but only if they happen from time to time. Nowadays, people are dealing with so much stress and stress eating has become normal for a lot of people. Shoveling large amounts of food just to feel a bit more comfortable may feel like it's helping a little in that very moment, but can in fact result in poor and imbalanced diet leading to obesity and other disorders. Emotional states can lead to eating disorders like anorexia, bulimia or night eating syndrome. Of course those are extreme situations and even the feelings which feel them most like stress, shame, disgust or guilt don't necessarily lead to such extreme disorders. Studies have shown that the link between food and emotions is stronger for people who are dieting in comparison to those who do not diet and obese people in comparison to non-obese people. Thinking about that, we could ask ourselves a simple question. Why don't we all have eating disorders? Considering that we all feel the same kind of emotions and having ups and downs in our lives at the same time. It turns out that food emotion correlation has a lot to do with how we manage our emotions. The better we are with dealing with negative emotions in other ways, the less likely we are to have some kind of eating disorder. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more on this and other interesting topics, visit our website www.oncall.eu where you can find more resources.